when you look at something like the Large Hadron Collider, which is 17 miles in circumference, it's an example of pushing the limits of really what's feasibly achievable in terms of the scale of particle collider for exploring the fundamental physics that describe the universe. In order to go to the next level, to push the energy boundary even higher, one can imagine trying to build larger machines, but you reach a limit at some point. And in order to go those higher energies, we have to think of a paradigm shift in the way that we accelerate our particles so we can accelerate them to higher energies in much less space. Plasma wake field acceleration is a new concept for accelerating particles up to very high energies. The primary advantages it offers are that it can do this in a very compact amount of space and can do this with a very high energy transfer efficiency. So the power consumed in the process of acceleration can be quite low compared to traditional means of accelerating particles. The original ideas for plasma wake field acceleration are almost three decades old. The first papers came out in 79 and the early 80s showing that you in theory could make these big waves in the plasma, but it's really in the last decades that things have gotten so interesting as people have started to apply the tools like the SLAC LINAC to make these very large amplitude waves in the plasma. So FACET's really a progression between showing that we can make these large amplitude waves in a plasma and use them to accelerate beams that actually have the properties that experimenters and researchers want. Plasma is an ionized gas, so you take a solid, you heat it up, it melts to a liquid. Keep heating the liquid, it boils to a gas. If you keep heating the gas, then the pieces that make up the gas start to come apart. So you get negatively charged electrons and positively charged nuclei all swimming around together. So the first bunch of electrons enters the plasma and acts like a plow, and it pushes all of the plasma electrons out of the way. Left behind inside of that wake are the positively charged atoms that haven't moved because of their mass. The positive charge of those, the net positive charge of those atoms left behind then pulls the plasma electrons back in toward the axis. The second bunch of electrons traveling behind the drive bunch is inside of this wake structure and it experiences the strong electric fields that then allow it to gain a lot of energy in a very short amount of space. We heat an oven up to a thousand degrees centigrade and it makes a column of lithium vapor. And then we ionize that lithium vapor using a laser pulse with a special focusing optic called an axicon. And it ionizes a very long filament in that plasma, which we then align and put it right on top of the electron beam trajectory. So now we have that ionized lithium vapor, and then we send the particle beam in right on top of that, and it generates these large amplitude waves. So we hope in the future that using plasma wake field accelerator technology, we can make accelerators that instead of taking kilometers of space to get these beams up to the very high energies that are useful for particle physics and photon scientists, we hope that we can make these very same high energy beams in a much more compact space that you use to fit in the basement of a hospital or a university so that many more researchers can have access to these great tools.